This is your Star Citizen 315 tutorial, an easy beginner's guide. So before we jump in, quick 30 seconds, what is Star Citizen? In a nutshell, Star Citizen is a massive, massive, choose your own adventure, space sim, universe sim, open world game that is working on becoming an MMO. There's trading, mining, bounty hunting, box delivery. You can find players and NPCs. There's medical and healing, inventory and looting. But the most important thing to know is that it is early access and you are going to run into problems. The good news is, is that there is tons of people who are willing to help you. We have a newbie help channel on our Discord. You can ask me live on stream and there's even guides that you can sign up for on the website. So now that we have that out of the way, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the website, robertspaceindustries.com. I also have a link in the description at the top right, click account and then down click enlist now. If you use my referral link in the description, you're going to have the referral code already filled out. After you make your account, you're going to head to the pledge store. You're going to have a lot of options here. Personally, I would recommend the Aurora starter package. Now, I used to recommend the Avenger Titan, but since you can earn ships in game extremely easy and you can also rent ships, unless you want to go above and beyond and support the project, there's really no reason to spend more than $45. After you've checked out, you're going to click play now in the top right. It's going to give you a list of requirements. You want minimum 16 gigabytes of RAM. You definitely want an SSD for Star Citizen. Do not put Star Citizen on a hard drive, please. I've heard people running Star Citizen on as low as 960s. I wouldn't recommend it, but I've heard it. The game definitely is more CPU intensive. Once you have all the requirements done, you can click download now. So after you've launched the game and gotten to the main menu, there are three options. But before we get into that, click options bottom left. So over on graphics, I do 50, 50, 55. I run borderless and then very high settings on pretty much everything. Planet volumetric clouds is pretty much the only setting you'd want to turn down if you're having issues with clouds. Everything else can stay high. My field of view is 100, motion blur off, V-Sync no, sharpening and chromatic aberration is zero, and film grain is no. Back on the main menu, the options you have is Arena Commander, which is dogfighting practice, Star Marine, which is FPS practice, and then you have the Persistent Universe. You're going to click that, and the first time you click it, it's going to ask you to build a character. You can spend a lot of time on this, but for now, we're just going to click OK. After you click Stand-In System, there are four places you can choose to start. But for the sake of you being a new player, I feel New Babbage is going to be the best. Keep in mind, you can only select your starting residence once. After that, you're going to log in wherever you last set your spawn. Bottom left is where you can choose your server if you want to. For now, we'll just click best and then we will launch into the PU. So first thing you'll notice is that in this game, you're going to interact with a lot of stuff. If you can interact with it, you're going to do it by holding or pressing F. And the next thing we'll interact with here is the door. First thing, as you start walking around, you'll notice you're walking pretty slow. So if you scroll wheel up, you're going to notice you start moving a lot faster. Then if you hold shift, you move even faster than that. This also works when you're holding boxes. We'll make our way to the elevator. In Star Citizen, there are a lot of signs and you'll notice they're actually pretty helpful. So a neat trick is if you hold F and scroll wheel forward, you'll be able to do this kind of digital zoom and it helps you read signs better. So we'll call the elevator here. And you'll notice if you do that digital zoom to try to click the buttons, you kind of like makes the screen freak out. What you're going to do is you're actually going to middle click on the screen while holding F. And you can do this with ship MFDs too. And this makes the screen solid so that you can scroll up and down freely. We're going to click lobby. Then as we head out of the lobby, you'll see two places. One, the Microtech Metro Loop, which is what we want. And then we'll see the hospital. We're going to talk about medical here in a minute. We'll head down to the Metro Loop. So we have two destinations here. We have the spaceport and then we have the commons. We're heading to the commons so we can gear up. So while we're on the Metro loop, I'm going to show you if you hold F and then right click, you bring up your quick wheel. Now you can do a lot of stuff in the quick wheel. I personally don't use this a lot, but the most helpful thing for the quick wheel is the status system, which you can see bottom left. You can see your drug blood level. You can see your hydration, your food, your body status, your temperature, your oxygen. So if you ever need to figure that stuff out quick, you can just F and right click. Now that we're at the commons, there are two sides to the commons. There's the promenade, which is the more fancy cosmetic food side. And then there's the new Bamage Plaza, 
which this is all the good stuff, ship parts, weapons. That's where we want to go. So if you head into the left, both the places we need to go are right here, Shubin Interstellar and Center Mass. We're going to be grabbing our armor from Shubin Interstellar. Now, once you get a little bit more money, you could buy 10 sets of this and just have spares ready to go. But since you start out with just a little bit of money, we're only going to buy one set. Keep in mind that if you die with this armor on, you lose it forever. It is gone. So just like Tarkov, if you die, you can be looted. You can loot yourself. Your buddy can bring your gear back to you. But if you die, those items are up for grabs. So now that we have our armor, we'll head around the corner to center mass. You'll click on personal weapons and you're looking for a weapon called the FS9. This is a really easy to use LMG with a lot of ammo. Then you're going to buy a Delta Sight and you're going to buy a few FS9 mags. The last thing you'll need is med pins, which you can find under supply. You're going to buy three or four of these. Now that we have all of our gear, we're going to press I and that's going to bring us into our brand new inventory system. You can see at the top here, there's a filtering system. It's actually really useful. You can sort by undersuits, armor, clothing, weapons, ammo. You get the idea. We'll sort by armor here. Now there's a couple of ways you can equip yourself. You can either A, drag the items onto your body or B, you can double click them. So we'll equip our weapon. And if you equip your weapon side, it's smart enough to know to go onto your weapon. Then when it comes to ammo and consumables, You'll actually see an option to either double click to equip or you can drag it onto the slots that are labeled one through four, one through eight, however many slots you have available. And then this dotted circle that's around the slot, that's actually the capacity of the ammo. So if you use half of it, it will only be half dotted. So we're going to equip an extra med pin and then we're going to bring the rest with us. It's good to have extras. So now that we're geared up, we're going to head out the same way we came in down to the Metro loop into the spaceport once you get off the train you are going to have to take an elevator up to customs you'll head up the stairs and you'll have a few areas the ones we're going to focus on is the hangars and then if you look behind you there's ship rentals now you can rent ships in star citizen for pretty cheap now you have a starter ship but because i don't have the starter ship you have we're actually going to rent one you should have the aurora mr or the mustang i'm going to use the aurora ln which is a tiny bit better but you should be able to get the idea. So we'll head back to the console here at the ASAP console. You're going to get really familiar with this. This is where all your ships are, and you'll be able to see what the name of the vehicle is, the information on if it's stored, is it destroyed, where it's at, what kind of ship is it, its crew, its cargo, and then you'll be able to retrieve and track. Track doesn't really do anything, so we'll scroll down here and we'll go ahead and pull out our Aurora. Once we get to our ship, you'll be able to interact with the door, you have a couple options here. You'll go ahead and enter ship. When you're in, you'll see that you have a bed that you can use for later if you want to log out of it. It is kind of buggy, so I might steer clear if I were you. And then we have the pilot seat. Once you sit down, if you hold F, there's a couple of options here for you. Now, flight ready is what you're looking for. But if you hold R, that's going to flight ready your ship. Now, you might be wondering, now how do I get out of the hangar? You're going to actually have to call for takeoff. So if you press F11, under friends it will always be under friends you'll see the air traffic control that you're dealing with this one says new babbage spaceport and you'll click this button that will hail them and the hangar should be opening up if you gently press spacebar you'll go up control makes you go down a will strafe you to the left d will strafe you to the right s will strafe you backwards and w will strafe you forward you can press in for your landing gear. If you move your mouse up, down, left, or right, this is how you pitch and yaw. And the harder you pull, the more your ship will go in that direction. If you press any direction and then hold shift, that's gonna activate your afterburner. If you hold X, that's gonna activate your space brake. Q and E are gonna be your roll. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to look at is your speed gauge, which is located right here on the left. You can see it's zero right now. Especially when you're flying in space, you wanna make sure that you're not approaching stuff too fast. You wanna go at a pretty slow pace, especially when you're just learning. Next bottom left, we have VTOL, we have couple, we have ESB, and we have gear. We're gonna talk about the ones that are important. VTOL does not matter on the ship. You don't have it. Coupled is activated right now. That means your ship will always return to zero. 
no matter what if you're in the space if you're in atmosphere now if i decouple here you'll see i start to fall that's because i'm being affected by gravity now if i'm space i'll just go forever right but if you're coupled you'll always return to zero when you're learning to fly i would always leave this on and then we have our landing gear you can see that it's up because it's grayed out here if it's highlighted blue that means it's down if it's grayed out that means it's up next on the right you have your altitude meter which we'll use here in just a second top right you have your weapons capacitors and then bottom right you have your hydrogen fuel which is used for flying around regularly and then you have your quantum fuel which is used for quantum jumps we're going to do our first quantum jump if you press b that's going to spool your quantum drive if you look at port tressler which is where we're heading you'll see it says to exit atmosphere you're not high enough minimum jump range on microtech is about 11,000, so we'll head to that altitude while you're on your way there when you're in coupled mode you can press c for cruise control if you're going to use cruise control make sure to turn it off i can't tell you how many times people have forgot to turn off cruise control you will crash you will die and you will be sad so while we're making it out of atmosphere let's talk about the top right hand corner you have two symbols one is a bullet with an x through it which means it's armistice zone now all landing zones are non-fire zones you cannot fire so if you try to fire it will say weapons restricted for armistice zone now if you're anywhere else you will be able to fire but you'll get a crime set for doing so unless you're shooting someone who is a criminal now what that little satellite means is that you are in monitored zone so if you commit a crime or do anything wrong the ue is going to know and you will get a crime stat we're going to talk about that a little bit later now we could press b and once it's done calibrating we hold b to initiate we're actually going to use our star map here so if you press f2 on the map you see microtech in this green triangle here that's you so if you double click microtech it's going to zoom in and then you'll scroll wheel forward and then you can kind of hold right click to pivot around you'll see tressler you'll click on that you'll see the dotted line and then you want to hit set route when that line goes solid green that means you're good to go so you can see there's no other quantum destinations in the sky you'll hold b and we'll quantum jump to tressler on your way into tressler you want to make sure that you're not going too fast we're going pretty fast here so we're going to start holding x for that space break but we're not slowing down fast enough so if you want to slow down really fast what you can do is actually flip around and you can boost the opposite way the reason why this works is because in star citizen most of your boost is in your forward thrust once you get close enough to the station under your friends list you'll see port tressler you'll have to call for landing the same way you called for takeoff the icon for your pad will look like this a little downward arrow with a circle over it once you've landed i like to engine off it's a good habit so you don't waste fuel all right are you still with me the next big thing we're talking about is medical every station is gonna have a medical clinic now the reason i like to use stations instead of planetary landing zones is because they're easier to get in and out of you don't have to exit atmosphere you don't have to ride a tram so there's going to be two kiosks that you can use here one is if you're injured you can ask for a bed and go lie down and heal yourself but the one we're looking for is regeneration so this is where you keep your dna your clone dna for when you die you're gonna to have to click transfer imprint now whenever you die you are going to respawn at this clinic so if we do something really stupid like i don't know go out into space without a helmet that status system we talked about earlier is going to activate bottom left and it will say that we only have five seconds to live now we could have died there but i'm going to show you you can actually hold backspace and that's going to reset your character i would not recommend doing this in this update because you will lose your items but if you absolutely have to if you're bugged out if there's no way out you can hold backspace to wake up at the clinic after you've woken up in the clinic you'll see that every clinic in stanton has a pharmacy the most useful medical item in the game right now being the paramed medical device this is basically a reusable med pin gun that you can use to heal yourself and also your teammates so if you're out and about and your teammate takes damage and they go down you can scan them see what kind of treatment they need what kind of drugs they need and you can left click that's going to heal them and bring them out of their down state 
you'll see our friend Dolphin Invasion here has only reached 90% health. And that's where going back to a hospital comes into play. To get serious healing, you're going to have to go back to a hospital. You can also heal yourself by holding B while using the gun. Or if you have those med pins we were talking about, you can pull them out by holding C. And then once it's in your hand, you can press mouse 1 to use it. Those are the basics for healing in Star Citizen. So now that we know that, let's go do our first FPS mission. But before we do, let's talk about the Moby Glass really quick. So the Moby Glass is essentially all your player information. If you press F1, that's going to bring up your name, your money, your crime stat, all basic information. Bottom left, the first one you're going to look at is the comm link. Of course, this is where we call for landing, but it's also where you can see global chat. You can see everyone who is on the server in the global list. This is where you'll see your party, the people on your ship. You can add and remove friends here, invite people to your party. Top right under manage, you can choose to send chat to your visor. You can change chat color. You can change the volume of incoming and outgoing sound from your microphone. Next, we have the Vehicle Loadout Manager. This is where you can make upgrades to your ship after you've bought in components. Now, keep in mind that you can only change ships that are in your current location and they're stored. You can also only upgrade components that are in your current location and are currently stored. If you buy a shield generator across the system, well, guess what? You're going to have to bring the ship there or reclaim it at that location to equip it. Next, you have knickknacks, which is just a new system for the physicalized inventory where you can see where all your items are and what items are there. Then we have the star map. So on the star map, we have four planets. We have a Microtech, we have Hurston, Arcorp, and Crusader. They all have moons and different locations around them that you can explore. If you double click on one of these planets, you'll see that it'll zoom in and then you can mouse wheel to zoom in even more. If you hold left or right click, you can pivot to navigate the map better. If it bugs out and it's not working and it's all black like this, you can double right click and that will bring you back out to a zoomed out view. Keep in mind that you are going to have to be in a ship to set a route on the star map. Personally, I hate the star map and I use it as little as possible. Next, we have the Mo Trader, which is how you send money to your friends or people you've bought goods from or services. You see here, I can send money to I Warwolf. Keep in mind, there is going to be a small charge to all the money you send. This one's important. We have the Contract Manager. There's a bunch of different missions here. Delivery, Search, Investigation, Bounty Hunting. General is where the more lawful missions are, such as Bounty Hunting Apprehension, where you can go to a bunker and shoot criminals that have taken over the bunker. But then in personal, we have a mercenary mission to take down a comm array, which you guessed it, is illegal. Under accepted is your current missions, history of the missions that you've done or failed. Beacons is where you can pay players to do stuff for you. So you could set a beacon for personal transport to Everest, and sometimes people will do it. Last app is the reputation app, which we'll get back to since we haven't done any missions yet. But this is where you can earn bonuses and rep with different orgs. So let's head back to Contract Manager. We'll click the Bounty Apprehension Evaluation. We're going to go to a bunker and shoot some bad guys. So we'll pull out our ship, Pad 2, we'll head there, get into our ship. Once you're there, you can see that you can use your ship storage. So if you're on your way to a mission and you know you need an extra knife and a top hat, you can bring that stuff with you. But if your ship blows up, that stuff gets lost with it. So we'll head off the pad. So on my way to the location, you'll see that my quantum kind of bugs out. If that happens to you, what you can do is actually just unspool, look away, respool, look back at the target, and then when you hold B the next time, it should work. From here, we're just gonna fly in. As you approach, you're gonna see there's four turrets here. Now, for our little Aurora, that is gonna be a really tough challenge. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually gonna land outside of turret range behind this hill, and we're gonna find a good spot to walk up so that we don't have to worry about the turrets at all. Remember, pressing two is gonna bring out your primary weapon. Pressing four is gonna bring out your medical device. And holding C is going to bring up your med pens, just in case you need them. So we'll kill a few bad guys here. Objective complete. We killed the guy we were supposed to kill. Honestly, the AI and Star Citizen are hit or miss. Sometimes they are really good, and sometimes they are really, really terrible. 
One of the coolest things about this update is there's actually loot crates inside these bunkers that you can loot weapons, ammo, even fruit. So make sure to look around for these lootable crates while you're in these bunkers. Now, the unthinkable has happened. While we were inside the bunker, a windstorm came and blew away my ship. And yes, it exploded. Since we are in 315, a box should drop with the items that were inside of our bunker. Let's see if we can find it. This looks like it. Oh, man. And sure enough, there's our knife and our top hat. Oh, so we're stuck here. So update, I've recruited someone from Global Chat, Drac4EA, you are my hero, for coming to pick me up after my ship has gotten randomly blown up. We've got our box with us, and Drac is going to get us a ride back to Tressler. So once we're back at Tressler, you see our Aurora is destroyed. Here on the console, you're going to have to claim it. Because it's a starter ship, it's going to claim extremely fast. You can see that we can even pay an expedite fee to claim it instantly. So we are going to do that. We'll call our ship back out. We'll head to it. And we're going to do one more mission. Now, this is a super easy mission for beginners. It's called Illegal Monitors Detected. Now, these missions are everywhere in Stanton. And they're super easy money, especially for beginners in beginner ships. We'll go ahead and pick this one up and head to the location. We're going to open our Moby Glass, our star map, and set our route. Once we get there, how you're gonna find these monitors is you're gonna press tab, and that's gonna send out a ping. And you're gonna kinda wanna press this every few seconds. You'll see that there's a few close markers, but we're looking for the ones that are a little bit farther away. You see there's one 8K away here, we're gonna head to that. Before you start blowing stuff up, something you need to know about is capacitors. There are capacitors in Star Citizen, and simply put, here's how it works. If you have more power and weapons, you get more weapon capacity and they recharge faster. If you have more power and shields, you get a little bit more shields and they recharge faster. If you put power in a boost, you get a little bit more boost and it recharges faster. You can adjust these by pressing F5 for weapons, F6 for shields, and F7 for engines. And then pressing F8 to reset. If you're a newbie, I'm going to suggest that you leave this default. So when you're approaching the monitor, you're going to press T to target. And what you're going to need to know about is targeting modes. Bottom right, you can see which targeting mode you're in, either fixed, auto, or gimbaled. And you can cycle through these targeting modes by pressing G. Fixed meaning wherever your ship is pointing, that's where your bullets will go. Auto gimbal meaning your gimbals are going to try to help you aim. I'd suggest this for beginners. And then true gimbal mode means wherever your mouse or your V-Joy is, that's where you are going to shoot. Keep in mind, you can only use auto and gimbaled mode if you have gimbals on. This can be found on the vehicle maintenance tab. And how it works is you need a size three gimbal for a size two weapon or a size two gimbal for a size one weapon, so on and so forth. So we're gonna find and destroy all three of these monitors by pressing tab, scanning, and then blowing them up. And then after that, it's super easy, contract complete, and is an easy 20 grand for you, especially if you're a newbie. Another good tip for you to know is if you were on a mission being attacked by a ship and you were being shot by a missile, you can either press H and that's going to deploy a flare. The more of these you press, probably three to four whenever you get shot by a missile, that'll hide your signature so the missile will stop chasing you. Or you can press J and that's going to deploy your chaff, which is a kind of cloud that's going to take you off radar. After you get back from your mission, you're going to want to make sure that you land and repair. How you're going to do that is you're going to head into your Moby Glass and go to your Vehicle Maintenance Services. You can individually highlight each repair tab. After you click Confirm bottom right, how you know it works is you're going to see the flashing on your screen bottom left. And that means the repair did work and you should see your hydrogen and quantum fuel go up. Last thing and then you are done with all the information you need to know for 315. The criminal system, let's talk about it. So we're back at Tressler and we've decided we wanna commit some crime. My brave Aurora here is gonna to try to take on this UE hammerhead. I have a feeling it's not gonna go so well. Top right, after shooting the hammerhead, you can see I do have a crime stat one. This can go one through five, five being the worst, one being the least. 
And after fighting my best, I am going to get blown up and sent to Klesher, which is prison in Star Citizen. If I head out of my bed into the middle of the room, you're going to see a console here where you can see how long you have in prison. Now, this can go up to about eight hours, I believe, which, believe it or not, you can get out pretty fast. Now, you might be wondering, how do I get out? Well, you could just log out. Your time is going to go down while you're offline. But we don't want to log out. So the second thing you can do is you can go to the work mines and you can either mine, which I'm not going to recommend because it's been buggy. You can get what I think is way easier, these missions to go clear oxygen vents. So you're going to head to your contract manager. You're going to click this. This is a really good one. It says to go to Route 3, Depth 12, and this is going to get us 15,000 merits. How merits work are one merit equals one second in prison, so it's 3,600 an hour. This mission is super easy. Basically, you're going to follow the numbered signs all the way down. You're going to look for an oxygen dispenser that looks like this. Now, this isn't the one. This one is working, but we're going to grab some oxygen here, and we're going to keep heading almost there, number 12. Now, we're just going to look around, and this green light looks like it, and this is it, so you're going to click clear vent, and then that's it, an easy 15,000 merits. Due to your recent actions, we've reduced time on your sentence. Isn't that great? Typically, you'd want to walk out the way you came in, but since we've earned so many merits and we have so little time, you can actually just hold backspace. It is going to add a little bit of time to our crime sentence, but it won't matter since we have so many, so we're just going to hold backspace. Back in the middle, you can see that, yes, we are eligible for release, but there is one more way to escape prison, and that is escape. Now, I won't spoil this for you in case you and your friends want to figure this out yourselves, but escaping prison is challenging and frustrating all at the same time. If you do choose to escape, good luck. And that, my friends, is the end of the 315 tutorial. That is all I have for you. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions, feel free to come ask me live on Twitch. I do stream most days. Oh, he sees us. We just caught him. We caught him. He's on the ship. Oh, my God. Bro, we just got this guy in prison. Hey, hey there, buddy. How you doing? Hey, Leeson, don't move. Burke Macklin, FBI. Bro, no way. No way. No way. Uh, what? You have been you are now in our jail. Thank you again for watching. Good luck in the verse. Godspeed. This is Captain Burks signing off.